what's going on everybody it's your boy kryptonian saying here bringing you guys a review for one piece chapter 1013 and now that chapter 1013 is in the books man we got a lot to talk about man so first and foremost i got my hopes up for a second you know i'm i'm quick with that big mom slander you know i'm quick to throw big mom under the bus especially when it comes to all things nami i kind of had in my head that like nami was gonna show up and show out in this chapter and the chapter opened up with nami with that big boss big bitch energy like usopp saying nami what are you doing she's gonna get up again she's gonna attack you big mom's behind you ulti's pissed off what do you think you're doing and nami in that moment of clarity says it doesn't matter we're gonna get chased either way either ulti's gonna chase us or big mom's gonna chase us however we're gonna stand here we're going to fight they need to pay for what ulti did to tama and you get this moment where nami is ready to fight she's got that weather baton she's ready to start shooting out attacks and she shoots out a tornado tempo and very beautifully drawn panel right there love the thigh action right there just gonna say it for what it is but what i like though is that nami just the force that she's drawn with with this attack very beautifully done and you get this moment where for a second you think it might work however we get this beautiful double page spread right after that where ulti just blitzes through the tornado tempo she grabs hold of nami with both of her arms and she says i'm gonna headbutt you now i'm gonna pulverize your skull and for a second you think this is it but because it's a double page spread the anticipation is already built up in your mind because you know that big mom has fired off the attack and you see she's got napoleon she's got prometheus she's got hera all of them combined together they shoot off this huge attack at ulti and just leaves her laid all the way the fuck out and there's a moment where the people are screaming hey we're supposed to be in alliance right now however the thing about it is that ulti crossed the line with what she did with thomas so i like seeing that and i like how big mom has a moment where she says that this is exactly what you get for the way that you treated tama and Usopp grabs Tama. He and Nami begin trying to run away. And as they begin to run away, we see as Zeus is watching the whole thing unfold. And Nami takes note of this. And she's like, well, if Zeus is here, who's that other cloud? And that other cloud obviously being Hera. And you have the funny moment where Zeus and Prometheus are going back and forth. And Prometheus is like, hey, yeah, you know, me and you. Hey, man, you know, we can we can definitely get in, you know. Mama says she's going to make me a girlfriend. You know, are you my girlfriend? And what I like about that is that, you know, the boy Prometheus is shooting his shot and Hera ain't having nothing to do with it, which I mean, if I'm not mistaken, it should line up with some of the mythology. Uh, the only thing on it is like Prometheus, I believe Prometheus was like a brother to Zeus or something like that. It's been a minute since I've read Greek mythology, but I know there was something with Zeus and Hera. But what I like about this is that you have this moment where Big Mom sees Zeus and she says, hey, Zeus, you're not joining us anymore. You ran away. You were useless. You left me to die. I don't need you anymore. And this is after Nami has already discarded him. And we have this moment where Hera goes to start eating Zeus. And it's kind of heartbreaking. Like the way he's drawn, he's got the exaggerated expression. He's got the tears, the speed lines, just showing you how quickly the man's been eaten up. And it's one of those things where when you see it, and you see the way the big mom's saying that, you know, this would make you useful if you allowed Hera to consume you and to eat up your soul, which that in itself, I mean, it's like you dirty motherfucker, oh, like, dog, like, Hera's sucking the soul out this motherfucker. Like, it is what it is, man. Like, you can't tell me that wasn't on purpose. But what I like, though, is that big mom picks up Tama, and she's like, hey, this is about to get nasty. We need to keep this innocent, sweet girl out of harm's way, and She's even saying, like, these are my friends, don't harm them. But Big Mom, don't give a fuck. And I like how with Nami, when Zeus is crying out to her, Nami's like, hey, 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 I told you, me and you, we we weren't going to be cool again. But at the same time, Nami can't bring herself to look at him. And it's in that moment when Zeus realizes that he's burned every bridge, that he has no choice but to make a stand right here. And what I like about this is that Zeus says that, they're going to kill me. I just don't want to die knowing that everybody hates me. So can you just watch my final moments? And Zeus attempts to try and stand up against Big Mom. And he's telling Nami, I want you to remember me for this. As you get free, 
I want you to remember the sacrifice I made. And what I like is the fact that Big Mom just immediately said the fuck with this shit. And you have the moment where Nami is trying to shoot off those weather balls at Zeus to give him more energy. And according to Hera, it's no good. And she just eats Zeus as well as some of those weather balls. And you have this moment where Tama gets down and she's with Nami and Usopp and she's saying that we got to run, we got to get out of here. And when Big Mom sees this, it goes from I got to protect Tama to, oh yeah, I hate when people, I hate when people leave me. I'm going to kill this bitch too. Big Mom starts chasing after them. And then all of a sudden you see this hand shoot out. And at first I was like, wait a second. Is this Frankie? And I was like, wait, this can't be Frankie because Frankie's currently fighting. And then you get this beautiful double page spread where you see Kid and Kid just comes in clutch and he's like, hey, Straw Hats, get out of here. Leave this big bitch to me. I'll take care of this. You guys just get to safety right now. And what I like on the other side is this, is that on the other side, you have the double page spread to end everything where you have the Skull Dome and you have Kaido saying, you know, that's the thing about you humans. You guys have those moments where you get hope in your head and you think that everything's working out and you guys overstep your boundaries. Really and truly, I should just cut off your head and announce victory, but because you could still be alive, everybody's going to look at you and think that they still got the opportunity to actually live. And you see Luffy and it looks like Luffy is falling back towards the ocean. So the only thing on that is because you got Kid currently going up against Big Mom you're likely going to see Law use chambers or something in order to get Luffy back to safety. So it's going to be kind of curious to see how Oda kind of takes this. But, you know, Luffy once again lost to Kaido. So it's just one of those things where this should be the third time Luffy's gotten his ass whooped. So the next time Luffy should come back because if he just keeps getting his ass whooped and getting right back up at some point, I'm waiting for Luffy to go motherfucking Super Saiyan in this bitch. So what I want to know from you guys is how do you guys feel about Zeus attempting to pave the way for safety for Nami? And then the other question I have for you guys is what do you guys think about Zeus's desperate and human need to basically know that he didn't die for anything? Let me know down in the comment section below as always. Guys, if I anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Have an awesome day, guys.